Hello everyone and happy Sunday to you. I hope you are having an absolutely wonderful day. And guess what? I made my first toaster sweater. I had originally planned on a different video for today, but I am super excited about this make, especially after being down and ill and not being able to sew. And I want to share this with you. So if you are interested in hearing about my experience while making this and seeing how it turned out, please continue to watch. Hello, 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 and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. My name is Talisha, and I also go by Creativity by T, and I welcome you. So today's video is all about my very first toaster sweater that I have been wanting to make for some time now, and I absolutely love it, just love it. So I had intentions on making this last month towards the end of December, but right after the holidays, myself and my family got sick with a little nasty virus that's going around and I was down for about two weeks. I had cut this out already and I was just waiting for the right time to sew it up but I felt like I didn't have like the energy to do anything that required any type of thinking and one thing that really bothers me is when I mess up on a sewing project and I have to unpick it and start over and I I know that's just issues that are inevitable and that you're going to have but I just was not in a place mentally to deal with anything like that. So I just let the cutout pattern pieces sit there until I felt the energy to go ahead and sew and then a few days ago I suddenly had that urge to sew and I took out the instructions and read them because I always read them before I start sewing. I pulled out the pattern pieces and whipped this up in just a little over an hour and like I said before I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Once I tried it on I instantly, just instantly fell in love with it. It was just met my expectations to another level. <laughs> I was so 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 happy with the results. Even the bust area was perfectly fine in my opinion. You know it appears that this is a pattern that doesn't even need a full bust adjustment because there was no like lifting in the front and everything just looked good to me. It looked just like the pattern cover and that was definitely a pick me up and exactly just exactly what I needed to get me back in the swing and of sewing and you know just being down like that and not doing it sometimes you may lose your sojo or just like I said don't feel like doing it but no I do have the desire to sew I had the desire to sew I just didn't have the energy to sew and after being down with that illness this was just the perfect perfect project and I am here for it. <laughs> so let's talk about my experience with the pattern. So I'm calling this the toaster sweater but this is a pattern that is made by Simplicity and this is Simplicity 8529 and it's also considered the simplicity version of the toaster sweater and this pattern was designed with simplicity by so house seven who is the originator of the toaster sweater so that's why i keep calling it the toaster sweater <laughs> The pattern description is Mrs. Knit Sweaters. Um, there are four views to this pattern. All views have the same sleeve with a sleeve band. View A has side slits with a higher scoop neck like what I have. Um, view B has a lower band at the bottom of the shirt and it also has the higher scoop neckline and that is the view that I made. View C has a standard neckband with side slits on the shirt and View D has a standard neckband with a lower band. Um, fabric recommendations are going to be your stretch knits such as double knits, ponte, sweater knits, sweatshirt fleece, velour, and wool jersey. 
uh, the sewing skill level is not rated on this pattern but it is very easy and I would even say beginner friendly super beginner friendly and I say that because there's no facings to add on there's no interfacing to press on to fabrics and anything like that and if you make view B which is the version that I made or view D which is the version with the lower band and the neck band all of your finishings are done with bands so there's no hemming involved whatsoever and I believe that is why I finished this project so quickly I mean it was like the whip 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 so I used five pattern pieces to make this sweater I do think the pattern in general comes with a total of 12 pattern pieces to be able to make all of the views but like I said for me I only had to use five pattern pieces and the pattern pieces that I use were the front the back the sleeve the sleeve bands and the lower band the only notion that you're going to need at least to make this view is going to be your thread and the pattern sizing comes in extra small through extra large and the finished measurements are on the back of the pattern envelope so that you can use that as a guide to determine what size to cut which is always really helpful when it's just right there available for you and the size that I cut is a size large um, as far as it looking like the photo you can be the judge of that but yes nailed it nailed it I, I, I just love it it's so simple but I love it um, the pattern instructions were super super easy to follow absolutely no issues whatsoever and not to deviate from the subject pattern but I recently made McCall's 8144 which has a very similar neckline and while the instructions for that pattern are very easy to understand as well I like the instructions of constructing this neckline much better for this toaster uh, sweater and I'm wondering if when I make McCall's 8144 again if I could just do it the toaster sweater way because it looks identical but the directions are not the same and this was a more simplistic way to construct the neckline and I just like how it looks so if you have made McCall's 8144 and if you've made this simplicity toaster sweater let me know in the comments below what your opinion is on that so what I particularly liked about the pattern well let me tell you <laughs> I love the scoop neckline this is super super cute to me because it's like having a turtleneck on but not being restricted with how turtlenecks just grab to your skin uh, I like the sleeve bands love them I like the dropped shoulders you everyone knows by now that I'm a drop shoulder fan and I love how all of the finishings were done by bands with this view and there was no hemming involved whatsoever and I also like that it has no closures it's just a nice pull-on sweatshirt and it just looks like an elevated sweatshirt it's not like a basic sweatshirt because of the neckline and the band at the bottom so yes it's even one that I would even wear to work I would wear some like dress pants with it but I can pull this off at work because it's so trendy it's so cute you know and even though it's a sweatshirt I mean it's fabulous <laughs> So there's nothing that I dislike about the pattern at all. As you can tell, I just love it. Um, I didn't learn any new sewing techniques while making this because the techniques that are needed are very basic for sewing. And sometimes that's all you need, you know, like I said, just a good pick me up. Um, so, you know, no first time experiences, but it's a very good project. Uh, the fabric that I use I use a sweatshirt fleece and this is super thick super soft super comfortable and super hot <laughs> the fabric is very very thick so the structure of this neckline is perfect all the time because it hardly moves and you can get like the real sense of how the design of this neckline truly is at all times because of how well structured this fabric is 
um, I purchased this fabric from Joanne Fabrics and it actually wasn't even that long ago so I was very happy to go ahead and just use this up and I did not have to make any type of alterations or any type of modifications and I don't recommend any because it just fits well like I said I didn't even feel like I needed to have to do a full bust adjustment and my bust is the 45 and I believe that this the finished measurements for this is 45 and a half so I mean like I have room you know and it doesn't look too loose and it doesn't look too tight so it's a really good fit and my fit looks like what the models fit is so yeah I was very pleased with that this is a very easy pattern but it's very satisfying and it's actually pretty popular among the sewing community there are so many people that have made this and made it multiple times and I'm gonna be one of those <laughs> And the availability of this pattern is just still readily available inside of the stores. Um, it came out in 2017, but like I said, it's still in the store. So you would get pick it up at like your local Joann's and your Hobby Lobby's. And I did check online before I sat down to do this video and it's showing that it's not available on the website it just says unavailable and i am not sure why i'm assuming that it's just maybe not in stock in the warehouse wherever they ship patterns from but if you want this pattern i would suggest picking it up during the next sale or whatever because they're usually 199 at the sales in case it's being discontinued because i do know after some time the patterns do get discontinued but this is not one that you are going to uh, want to let get away but i doubt that it'll be discontinued but just in case make sure you get it <laughs> so for my accessories I'm not wearing a necklace at all. I don't think it's needed. When you have a statement neckline like this, you want the neckline to be the star of the show. That was the whole selling point for me with this pattern, so I didn't want to disrupt that. But my earrings, I'm wearing these big bling hoop earrings that I got for, for Christmas. My mother purchased me some nice bling jewelry because she knows that I love it and she was like girl you are the only person I know that can get away with this type of jewelry so here you are and here I am with it on love it <laughs> so now I will enter a few more pictures and clips of my cozy toaster sweater So I really, really love this pattern and this is perfect for the fall and the winter and even the early part of spring and the, I mean, it's just wonderful. It, it's also good for wearing and just laying around on the couch and relaxing with a good old cup of hot coffee or hot tea or hot chocolate. I mean, it's just a cozy sweater. So like I said, you definitely want to make sure that you get this pattern and I want to actually make this again in a thinner sweater knit fabric just to see how the structure of the neckline would hold up in a lighter weight fabric because like I said this one is perfection to me due to how thick this fabric is and I really love how it turned out so I'm interested to see how it would be in a lighter weight fabric like a ponte or like I said another lighter uh, sweater knit so that is all for my experience with making this wonderful but simple sweater. I'm definitely going to get a lot of use out of this and you know it's like sometimes I don't like to wear jackets or coats just because of how thick it can be at times and when I don't this is definitely going to be the sweater that I go to because like I said it is super thick and warm and it's it doesn't require a lot of layering because of that so yeah yay me <laughs> 
So thank you so much for watching and thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your continued support. Please let me know in the comments below what you think about this sweater. Do you like it? Do you like the color? How do you think it looks on me? Do you see yourself making one? Let me know. Again, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you in the next video. Bye!